sports gives you so much, you know, gives you discipline, gives you teamwork, gives this sense of being part of a team. And I think that um, sports can mobilize people. That I believe the power that sport can have in a society because sport can give the power and power kids to change their reality. I believe the more you play sports, the more it opens your heart to the possibilities of love. Bringing the first inaugural uh, United Nations Young Leadership Program's International Sport and Social Impact Summit here made perfect sense. We've been welcomed by um, the city of Bradenton, the county of Manatee, the state of Florida, but most importantly, we've been invited into the lives of 34 young global ambassadors who've traveled here from 20 different countries. Each of them has been selected because of their leadership and their ability to have impact um, in a real sustainable way in their own community. We are um, trying to find out what we can do to foster and encourage young people from disadvantaged neighborhoods who worked already um, by the, on a voluntary base in sports all over the world. Events like the summit really give the Bradenton area an international stage. It brings talent from ac across the world here to Manatee County, not just so that they can learn here at the amazing training facilities at IMG, but also so that our community can learn from them. Over the course of this two weeks, we will understand the power of sport as a communication platform for education messaging, for health prevention, for anti-bullying, for equal rights, gender equality. Um, and then most importantly, we will translate the skills that one acquires through participating in sport into those that they'll use to lead a generation. And that is what happens here at IMG Academy. Events like this summit at, at IMG Academy in the Bradenton area are extremely significant to us because our tagline is Think Global, Think Bradenton Area. And when you have an international summit in your community, it just lends tremendous credibility to who we are and we think very globally. So it's a perfect event for us to communicate that message. And to be involved with the, um, this United Nations Summit, the Sports Leadership Camp, it is a great honor. The main thrust of our job is to develop young leaders, and this summit is doing just that as well. All the sports have a, a great power to, to change the, 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 the societies because it's a great tool to, to bring all the, all the people to a, to a safe place. I was so excited to be part of this UN leadership camp and be able to share my story and educate everyone on what grassroots soccer does. I mean, to see these kids from all over the world come together all around sport for social change is just an incredible sight to see. So we were very fortunate to be able to invite some of our best network members to come here today and hopefully pass on some of their experience, some of their knowledge, um, and hopefully that's going to be useful to the participants we've got. Sports, when you use it for development sense, bridges the on the field space to the real life space. That's incredibly empowering for folks who otherwise, or especially people who are disenfranchised and unempowered. Basically, it's a good excuse to attract people, kids, to, to get involved in projects like this. So once you enter and use this tool, it's easy, they're there. And once they're there, you can do whatever you want with them. We see them as agents of change. They are the leaders chosen leaders in their community by their organizations who can make a positive influence, a positive difference in their organizations as well as in their communities. Because we all have similar goals and we're doing similar things, so it was a great opportunity to, to know what everyone's doing and we've all been thinking like how can we work together in the future. We felt it was very important for us to uh, participate and to uh, expand on uh, what Global Action Initiative is doing right now and sharing with our community and beyond uh, all the important aspects of giving back, um, uh, elevating your community to another level, uh, and then sharing that with uh, a broader spectrum of people. To be part of uh, a United Nations uh, event here and to be able to impact a lot of countries that, that know nothing about the game and to be able to bring that passion to their countries and to their youth back then, it, it's a, just a wonderful thing. 
for the game of baseball and for their countries to become involved going forward. So I'm very excited to be part of it. And this is a big opportunity that we can share some information, some work that we are, we are doing in our country, and we can make a networking, a contact, and maybe in the future we can work together. I feel like very lucky to have the opportunity to learn a lot from different countries, for different people, and to share it in my country. We believe in, 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 in the, the message of these this camps. We are using the sport uh, as a tool. The sport is only a tool to attract the attention of the kids or, or, or the community and then deliver a nice message, a message of peace or, or, or development. And uh, we are really involved with the United Nations and we really definitely try to, to, I mean, to stick and to push the United Nations Millennium, Millennium Development Goals and, and to implement them also at our level. So it's, that's why it's important for us to be here. I look forward to having these types of opportunities again. I hope that these participants now take back some of the concepts that they learned and start to incorporate principles, the values. I hope they take that back to their communities uh, and improve the conditions and the lives of not only their family and their friends, but the extended members of the community. To be a partner in an event that's bringing together, you know, some of the youth leaders from all around the world that are learning about sport and the power of sport and learning how to take it back, take what they're learning here back to their home and really activate using sport for an agent for change is amazing. It's like networking. It's like the way that we started this team. You know, I contacted four or five people that I knew they contacted. So it's just a way to get it out there and expose everybody to another sport or another activity that may change their lives. Well, I think this is a great honor for the Tampa Bay Strong Dogs to come here and do the demonstration of basketball and help these young kids understand that people in wheelchairs are great athletes too. And I think when they go back to their countries, they'll have a, you know, they go out and get kids that are in wheelchairs, hey, you can do this too. I've seen it done, I've played it, I've done it. You can come do it. I really think that sports have given me the confidence and um, the ability to know that I can do anything that I set my mind to. I think being the only one with a physical disability, you feel a little bit more out of place because no one really understands exactly what you're going through. And sports gave me that outlet. I was around people that had disabilities and they all had you know, similar experiences and we were all able to get together and for, for that time we felt normal. The lessons that we learn in sports the character develop that you get, the work ethic that you get. You know, if you can learn to be successful in a sport, you can apply that to anything you want to be successful in life. I'm very much interested in, in cooperation with big brands, with, with, with companies who work in the field of sport, who know about the values of sport, and that's the reason why I was very happy when I got this uh, first U.S. camp here. At the IMG Academy here, obviously it's one of the premier educational institutions where people, young people from all over the world come for a first class education, but they also then have access to great athletic training opportunities. But more importantly, at least for me, in choosing IMG Academy as the perfect venue host was the fact that in, in their DNA is uh, the leadership skills, the life skills, which they teach their young people as part of their curriculum that really help them translate their voice, find their voice, use their voice, and, and really make a difference with the opportunities they've been given. One of the things that we're trying to do is grow the community. Athletics, sports, IMG, programs like this help, them do, help us do that. You know, IMG has a global reach. We're now working with the UN. That's the kind of thing we want to have happen. That's, that makes the place work. It promotes everything that we do here. There's a fit with everything that Fran is trying to do and Mr. Mumke is trying to do. Um, there's the international side of things. But for IMG Academy, it also helps to expose and get awareness for what it is, for what it is that we do. It's a way to get our message out there to a larger audience. Just the fact that we're really honored <laughs> to have the UN on our campus. We get some pretty cool people, pretty cool organizations to come to, to come onto our campus. To have the UN here, I gotta say, that's, that's, that's pretty special. That's pretty special. I think that for me,
because of what sports has done for me, and it's given me so much. I mean, I've gotten to travel everywhere. I've, um, I've been out of the country for sports. I've traveled to almost every state in the U.S. I've met so many incredible people. Um, my life just would not be the same.